You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face here on Greater Brockton, uh, Lynn Smith, who uh, I'm going to count up all the episodes. We're getting close to 300, and I think she's been on at least 30 of them that I can think about. <laughs> Welcome back. Lynn. Thanks, nice Mark. Nice now, where's here. my residual check? I don't know. You get, I'm going to double the zeros on the check. How's that? Okay. Um, Perfect. But this is a great vehicle to get the word out it on is. different nonprofit things, different groups in Brockton. We're a nonprofit. We like to help all the other nonprofits. Mm -hmm. So that's why we did the show. So you got a few hats on. You, you're involved in a lot of different mm -hmm. volunteer organizations besides being mm -hmm. working for one of the nicest nonprofits in Brockton, Thank OCES. You. Thank you. But let's talk Frederick Douglass first. Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association. Um, there's an event coming up. There is. It's interesting. You know, first of all, you know, this is the small community garden downtown on Frederick Douglass Avenue. And we were nominated by Strong Towns for an infrastructure contest. 24 states plus Canada participated. They were looking for projects that were true grassroots projects that mm -hmm. reflected the wishes of the community. And we were one of the five finalists. Oh. We didn't win, but I want to thank everybody for voting for the Frederick Douglass um, Garden. So we've buttoned the garden up for the season. We'll see you next year. We have our cleanup. We have our plant and seed swap. We have our reading of Frederick Douglass. We have our summer social where we have hot fudge Sundays uh, in the garden. And we have a lot of great community partners uh, who come and help us make the uh, garden a beautiful spot. Good Samaritan mm -hmm. Medical Center gave us some money to put a pergola up. Mm -hmm. So Stonehill College is doing a free program with a very famous actor who is known for his portrayal of Frederick Douglass. His name is Charles Everett Pace. And you know, Mark, I think he came to Brockton when we renamed the street back mm -hmm. in 2004. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Yep. So that is November 16th at the Martin Institute on the campus, 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, Martin Auditorium. It's free and open to the public, but you do have to call for an RSVP, 508-565-1799. So an evening with Frederick Douglass on November 16th at Stonehill College is coming up. Next up is Keith Park Neighborhood Association, another group that you helped found and start. Right, and you know, we started to focus attention on that small park in Campello. The land was given to the city in the will of George E. Keith, who ran Walk Over Shoe. Rob May and the planning department did an excellent job writing uh, an application for a park grant. We got the $221,000. Subsequent to that, I was doing research on the park and discovered that the plans were done by Frederick Law Olmsted's mm -hmm, company, mm -hmm. not him, yeah. but his company. He is responsible for Central Park, uh, Boston Gardens, Golden Gate Bridge National Park. Yeah. So we have an Olmsted connection. So we're going to have a Keith Park Neighborhood Association meeting on November 17th. Where else but at the Cod, Cape okay. Cod Cafe at 6 o'clock. Rob May is going to give us an update on the park. He's also going to give an, us an update on the CVS that's going sure. in across the street because the developer, Michael Kaufman, is a wonderful supporter of Campello, and he's donating lights to the park so that that whole corner will have a consistent nice. sort of turn-of-the-century uh, look. So we're really excited. Follow us on Facebook or at kpna.weebly.com and you can get updates on that project. And then we're partnering with the Campello Main Streets program. You know, that's Gary Leonard and B21 and Jim Benson is the chair. Mm -hmm. And the Huntington School, Mary Beth O'Brien, the mm -hmm. new principal there. Mm -hmm. And on December 7th at 6 o'clock, we're going to have a lantern walk. The kids make their own lanterns out of pop bottles mm -hmm. and decoupage, and we put one of those little flickery battery candles sure. in it. We're going to walk down South Street, the historic district, north up to the First Evangelical Lutheran Church, maybe have some cookies and cocoa, not that my life centers around food, uh, and then go back to the Huntington School 
and really just enjoy an evening of song and festivities and history. So December 7th at 6 o'clock, starting at the Huntington School. So have your kids make a lantern. Come and join us. Pat Sullivan at the Recycle Place gives me all those reflective vests, and we put them on the kiddos um, for safety. Okay. So it's a fun, fun night, and they learn a little bit about the history of the city. Okay. And um, you, is it something in here about a pop-up Campello Village? <gasps> well, you know we wrote a grant last year for Frederick Douglass. This year we wrote one to Mass Humanities for Keith Park, and we got it. Okay. So to celebrate the reopening of the park, Next year, on June 11th, 2017, we're going to create a pop-up, one-day, Campello Village 1917 mm -hmm. in the park. We're going to line it with buildings. Okay. We're going to have villagers who talk about what it was like to live in Campello 100 years ago. So people will be able to come and visit and talk to the villagers and learn about Campello life. So if I have any businesses out there that want to participate, any actors and actresses who want to be villagers, anyone who's excited will start to have planning meetings for that. So we're so psyched, and it will dovetail with the reopening of the rebuilt park. Glad I got the date. I'm putting it in the calendar. Great. And it's after all the graduations. It's That's right after better. graduation and right before Father's Day. We've got about three minutes left, and I need little bit of the last three, okay. but um, the holiday parade's coming up in Brockton, and you're also involved in that in different ways. So I what's am. Going on with we that? have a wonderful volunteer team, but John Marion asked me to sort of be the lead horse for the Friday night event. So Friday night, November 25th, at City Hall, starting at 6 o'clock, we're having a program, the Brockton High School Concert Choir, you know, Brockapella, mm -hmm. will perform. The Brass Quintet from the Brockton Symphony will perform. Maya Carpenter is going to read The Night Before Christmas. And then we're going to have a special presentation by Mr. James Edgar himself. And we might very well have a special visitor that night. Okay. We'll keep that as a surprise. And it's free, so City Hall six to seven and then we go outside and we turn on the holiday tree on city hall plaza which is a real tree I it's think. a real tree planted okay. in the ground in the brand new rededicated city hall that's plaza. right and that kicks off the holiday parade which is the 30th annual holiday parade mm -hmm. i've done about 24 <gasps> 25 of them mm -hmm. night starting in 1994 that's saturday the 26th starts at nine with photos by santa you got a holiday bazaar at city hall that you have the Santa Hat Challenge and then the parade itself. Now the Santa Hat Challenge is going to be a little different this year. What we're asking children to do is come to Main Street around 1230, bring your own decorated hat, decorate it fierce, okay. decorate it the best way you can because we're going to pick one child as the winner of the hat contest and that child will ride in Santa's sleigh during the parade. Okay, which I think uh, some of my students and teachers at, at uh, Southeastern had a lot to do with the construction <gasps> Absolutely. of that. Absolutely. Special order from the North Special Pole right to Southeastern. order. So details are at usachristmastown.org, usachristmastown.org. So Friday night at 6 o'clock, the evening with James Edgar at City Hall, and then Saturday, a whole day of fun. I'm sure you'll have somebody from USA Christmas oh, Town give you details. A few. That has kept me busy this month. I'm um, sure it has. Well, thank you for all the wonderful things that you do as a volunteer and for helping us to promote them. Thank you. Thanks, Lynn. Take care, Mark. Okay. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here on the City of Champions.